song uh, loosely, I'll point out which hardware goes where. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got a fun little project for you today. Today I have the 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track in the garage. I'm pretty pumped about it because this is gonna be the first project that I've actually done something on this particular vehicle in the new shop space. Today I'm gonna to be switching out the factory rock sliders with a set of CBI off-road uh, actual rock rails that are frame mounted versus body mounted. I do want to note and let you guys know if you are considering switching from the factory rock rail to a, an aftermarket rock slider, it is definitely worth doing. However, if you're also wanting to know how strong the factory ones are comparatively, this Bronco has 48,000 miles on it. And if you've been following my channel very long, you know that I've been all over the country and I've done some of the nation's toughest stuff with this truck and they have done their job. That being said, they have been beaten pretty bad, specifically the passenger side, uh, I slammed it really hard in URI National Forest with Vaughn Gittin, and uh, it did bend it pretty, pretty heavily. Now again, it did its job, so I don't know that if I would trust it another time or two to take a hit or a blow like that and it not get into the body. So that's where an aftermarket rock slider comes into play because you don't have to worry about bending quite as bad. The factory ones are, they are steel, but they're just a, they're a light gauge steel and they're, and they're body mounted. There is a lot of surface area that they bolt to, but again, it's just not the same as a frame mounted DLM tube on the side of your body of your vehicle. They are bolt on 100%, so hopefully it's a quick and easy install. I'm gonna walk you along the process with me. Hopefully answer all your questions about sliders and adding them to your Broncos. Okay, first step of this process is we gotta get these factory sliders off and they are factory mounted with one, two, three 13 millimeter bolts and then each mount has two 10 millimeter nuts that we will have to remove and then the slider comes right off. I've never done these on a Bronco myself. I gotta figure out where they mount at. Also, this is why Yeah. Well, let me get the right side. This is the other side. Okay, so just to, I'm gonna basically walk you guys through this. Bottom of these sliders got three tabs, utilizing two of the fuel tank skid plate bolts, which will help with the install. And then hardware will go elsewhere. So let me open this hardware up. You have four, uh, looks like four and a half inch grade eight bolts. Uh, big one by one quarter inch square washers and then lock nut. So what's gonna happen is once you get these hung up on the side of the frame rail, there's already holes in the frame, there's no drilling required. You're gonna stick the big bolt through the slider, through the frame, and then washer and nut on the opposite side of the frame. It's how the four gold ones will go. And then it'll come with those, which is one of these. So there's three spots one two three in the back uh, and those bolts will go uh, basically up so the two back mounts there's threaded inserts in the frame already so the bolts will just run right up into the factory nut certs the front one you'll have to slide this up into the frame rail um, oops slide it up into the frame rail and then let it fall inside the frame and then once you stick your nut I mean your bolt through the slider It'll catch into the nut cert and then lock in inside when you tighten it down. There you go. Just to get an idea of how the hardware goes again, that's what it looks like, like that. So, hopefully that makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and get them locked down. Okay, I got the passenger side all buttoned up. That took a little longer than it probably should have, but again, 
I'm on the ground uh, trying to figure out where the hardware went and then making sure that I did it correctly. But uh, passenger side is on, looks good, all nice and snugged up. The driver side should go a lot easier because the gas tank isn't in the way. Uh, I did have to space out the second bolt on the frame rail with, a, with three washers because it was making contact with the fuel tank. Other than that, it bolted right on. Alright, you guys think, probably think I'm a total amateur rookie, I swear I'm not. To be honest with you guys, I was going to wait until I got my two post lift in next month to do this specific install because I knew it was going to be a uh, pain on my back. But uh, someone on Instagram specifically asked me if I installed these yet and if, he, if I had a how-to, so that's why I did it. So. I know I didn't have a camera underneath the Bronco the whole entire time showing you guys. It's There's a few bolts, it's not that big a deal. The main thing is just having your hardware in the correct location. You should be able to figure it out from there. But I am gonna show you, looking at the bottom of the Bronco, first bolt right there. And then second bolt up there, third bolt there. Fourth bolt there. Fifth bolt is right behind this harness, and then the sixth is right there. And then coming from the back side, might give you a little bit better idea of just how everything looks. So this is what the back of the frame rail will look like. So there's one, two, and then three right above that exhaust hanger. Oh, it's bad, hard to, sorry. It's tough to fit under here, guys. So there's the other one, and then right back there, you can see the last one. Okay, I'm done under here. There. Sorry, I just, I really hate filming like that. So it becomes unenjoyable and I just don't want to do it to be just totally honest with you guys. But the sliders are on, pull the old ones off. The old ones bolt right in place. There's no drilling, there's no cutting. They literally just bolt right onto the frame rail. The side with the gas tank is a little bit more challenging than the driver's side. The driver's side, there's a lot more room to do things. Can you do it in your driveway? 100%. Is it a pain in the rear to do it on your back? 100%. It's ideal to have a lift to get just more you know, I'm broad up top, so it's hard for me to twist around underneath the Bronco and fit. Uh, or, you know, like I did, I jacked up the back of the Bronco to have a little bit more room. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, again, thank you to CBI Off-Road for sponsoring the sliders and this video. If you guys would like to get a set for yourself, please use the link in the bio. It is an affiliate link. I do get a small commission if you guys decide to purchase anything from CBI, so it greatly Help me out, I'd appreciate it. So, all right guys, see you in the next one, bye.